Friday, July 29th, 2016. I'm just explaining my panel mounts. I have four 250 watt panels here. I have eight batteries, six volt, 450 amp hours inside that these charge. This video mainly is about the old satellite mounts, two different ones that I took off of two different satellites. These two panels here are Renology, the other ones are two Helios. And I used three bags of concrete in the ground for each of these poles. The hole is about uh, two, uh, two to two and a half feet deep. And the uh, pipe that I used is oil field pipe, steel oil field pipe with a two inch ID and a two and seven sixteenths OD. Let's see, I think it's seven sixteenths, yeah. And uh, on this one, I had a hu old HughesNet satellite. And I took that, it's relatively small compared to these panels. And you can see when I kind of shake it, it is kind of a little bit wobbly. I'm going to add supports here eventually, as soon as possible. And I used Unistrut, which is about a buck a foot. I buy it in 10 foot lengths. Actually, it was, uh, I don't know, about $11. And uh, I put Unistrut there and attached it like that. And this is the HughesNet satellite here. This one fit over the 2 and 7 16 pipe just perfectly. And when we want to move it, just one hand moves it like so. And just move it like that around with the sun. Now the other one over here is a bigger satellite, came from a bigger satellite dish. This is a bit different here. Now this one was way bigger than this. This was probably for a, uh, a two and a half, I don't know, two and five eighths, I didn't measure. But anyway, this is this two and seven sixteenths pipe was way too small for this. So, as you can see here, I used PVC couplings and uh, pounded them down, they fit really tight. I pounded them with wood, I thought they'd break, but they didn't, they didn't crack or break. Then I tightened up these bolts here to squeeze this against it just enough so that it's tight but yet still moves when I spin it around. This coupling here and all my panels, uh, by the way, I bought from Missouri Wind and Solar, uh, mwands.com, mwands.com, uh, awesome place. They always have done me great and I'm going to continue to buy everything from them uh, because I love their support and I love their videos that they have online. They have more teaching videos than anywhere else you'll experience for uh, solar and wind and all kinds of uh, money-saving uh, things for the uh, off-grid person. Anyway, that's what I did. And just wanted to show you the different types of uh, satellite mounts. This one here I bought for 10 bucks. I searched all over online for them and they're not all too popular and available, and when they are, they're quite expensive. Uh, once again, I wanted to explain, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is tight because it holds this up. Without this, this, this whole thing here would just slide down. So this actually holds it up, even though it's tight against the uh, PVC here. And that's that. I just uh, used 3 8 16 bolts here with the different types of Unistrat. And, uh, that's the name of that tune. By the way, three of these panels are in series going to a Midnight Solar Kid and one of the other panels goes to a charge controller made by Missouri Wind and Solar. And they're all working great. And as I can see by this video, at least what I'm looking at, it looks like it's fuzzy for some reason. Oh well. Over and out.